Hey, 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 it is Sheeta from Sheeta's on the Loose, and I'm here today to give you an update on my Mexico City cost of living. All right, if you don't know, I am a career break coach that helps women leave jobs that don't deserve them to find their joy and bliss overseas. I found my joy and bliss in Mexico City, and so I talk about the experience of living in Mexico City a lot. And so today, I'm going to tell you updated numbers because in August of 2021, I created a video that explained my current cost of living for the time when I moved to Mexico City in December of 2020 to August of 2021. And my average expenses in that time were $2,863 per month. Now, a good chunk of that amount is rent because my rent is in pesos. So the dollar amount I pay each month varies. It's around $1,200. So even though I hosted a no spend month in January and the new numbers I tell you are going to be based on the money I spent in that no spend month, I still have to pay rent. So those rent numbers are included in these figures. So what did I cut out in January? I cut out all shopping, any unnecessary spending. I didn't eat out. I did everything I could to lower my spending to the absolute minimum. And so in January, the total amount that I spent was, drum roll please, $2,178. So $2,178 is my bare bones Mexico City budget. That is my, we got food at home. You don't have to do anything. You're not going anywhere. What is the least amount of money you can spend? For me in Mexico City, $2,178. Like I said, about $1,200 of that is, um, is rent. So the extra 900, 1,000 is other things. A lot of that, most of that is food. I spend a lot on food, even when I don't eat out. I eat a lot of groceries this month. I ate a lot of fruit and vegetables. And while they are typically cheaper here in Mexico, I ate a lot. <laughs> and so I spent somewhere between 400 and $500 on groceries this month just for myself. Yeah, but when I eat out, I spend a lot more than that, um, almost twice that much if I'm eating out in an average month. So food is one of my biggest expenses down here in Mexico. Um, but it's also one of the more variable expenses that you can have for yourself. You don't have to spend that much on food. I go to pricey restaurants. I eat a lot when I'm home. Um, and so my food budget is larger than a lot of people's. But the things that remained the same, my utility bills were low. Um, everything else came in almost exactly like the last video. And you can see that above. Other than that, there's not much to know. Everything was the same except cutting out shopping. Shopping and um, eating out were two biggest things I was able to cut out in this no spend month. And I was actually really pleased to know that I'm coming in just over $2,000 a month. Um, I know people who live here who have a much lower budget. So you can always spend less in Mexico City. But I want to remind you all that Mexico City is not the cheapest city in Mexico. And Mexico typically isn't as cheap as um, the American imagination expects it to be. So that's my cost of living. I hope this information was helpful for you. So if you're interested in retiring overseas, you can join my course from Burnout to Bliss to leave that job that doesn't deserve you behind and go live your best life overseas. We have a community, we have a curriculum, we have a group coaching program that is going to take you exactly where you want to go and you'll be able to live your life at the budget level that makes sense for you. The link for From Burnout to Bliss is in the description below. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.